This video is going to show you how to access and exit the uh, element editing. You'll notice the elements are down here at the bottom. This is how you edit them by clicking on this. Uh, uh, so what you do is you tap on that. And it's going to take you into the listing of the elements. It shows you all the elements you have in your in your study here. Uh, you can make it various edits and they'll be discussed in different uh, uh, videos uh, following this one. However, uh, the basic idea is you touch the uh, the various sections. If I touch the sequence column over here, you will see that it brings up the um, edit, edit sequence options. If I touch the non-valuatic column, uh, you'll see that it brings up the non-valuatic columns options. Uh, if I touch the delay column, you'll see it brings up the delay options. And if I touch the category options, you get the category options here. And if I touch the actual uh, elements themselves, here are all the different options you can do with the uh, elements here. So this is how you access it and you move around here. Now the important thing is when you're finished, you use the back button up at the top here. You click on the back here. And what that'll do, that takes you back to the data collection area itself. This is the device I'm using uh, making these uh, videos here. It's a Samsung Infuse uh, 4G Android phone. Um, I just want to explain when you should use the back button down at the bottom here. This one right here, you can, I can zoom in and show it a little bit better to you. So you scroll down, you see you've got the home button. Here's the back button. And that does, can be used uh, when you use Timer, Timer Pro, but you have to be a little careful when it's used. It's used when you've got pop-ups appearing. So in other words, when I bring up the device, which I have right here, um, if I, for instance, if I was to tap on maybe one of the rating values down here, the rating value, right, that brings up a pop-up, right? And the only way you can close this is by actually using the uh, the back button that you see right uh, right here to get back rid of the pop-ups here. So if I tap that, it disappears and goes away. And many places you can do that, you know. So if you're in the elements area, making some edits, of course, you touch any of these, it brings up these pop-ups. Pop-ups always use the back button down here. However, if you're in like here when there's no pop-up displayed and you hit the back up, the back button again, it actually takes you out of the program, right? So you have to be a little careful there. And there's really nothing we can do about this because the Android devices are multitasking. If that happens, you can go back in again. You just do a open last use study, this one right here. So that'll take you right back into the one you were in. It won't get you right back to the screen you were in, but you, the most you can lose is one transaction if you happen to be time studying a particular activity at that point, right? And if you use the back button while making the edits, uh, we'll show you what happens here. So I'm going to go into my element screen, and we're in here now, and I can, of course, uh, move up and down. I can tap on items, I can edit them, and so forth. Now, when, the, when you do see a... Um, uh, pop up like this, you can use the the the, uh, the back button. In fact, that's the way to exit it. It's a little confusing, I know, but if you if you're in here and you want to go back to the main menu, you should use the back key up here, the back button here. That'll take you back, right? If you come in here again, and instead of that, you use the back button down at the bottom. It's going to exit the program, right? So that's going to create a little bit of a an problem because then you have to open it again, and then you have to do open the last use study. And you'll be put right back to where you were, and you can go back in and edit, continue editing any elements and so forth.